What's up guys, Mari and Jerome here from the Bonsai Supply and today we are on another adventure. Yes, we are visiting the Bonsai by the Monastery in Georgia. Let's go check it out. Father Francis Michael, and um, I used to work in the bonsai department for uh, probably 25 years. Um, the bonsai uh, began here as a hobby of Father Paul's. Uh, he started a greenhouse with orchids in it, and um, because he had seen bonsai as a child in Seattle, um, he had a Japanese friend whose father had a bonsai collection, and then he also traveled in the east to um, uh, China and Japan and sold bonsai there. And so um, he decided to try to start making some bonsai. Now, he had a master's degree in art, but he was in sculpting and, and painting and that kind of stuff. And he also loved horticulture. So he just combined those two and started making bonsai trees. Um, he was probably one of the very first in the Atlanta area to do that. And his style was um, really free from uh, what most American bonsai enthusiasts would do. Bonsai came to this country through Japan. And Japan has very strict rules and regulations about bonsai. But of course, bonsai is older than Japanese bonsai. Uh, we're not sure where it originated, but there are pictures and paintings of potted trees, both in China and India, that predate any bonsai in Japan. And so, um, Father Paul was a bit of a maverick uh, in the bonsai world. For instance, he would um, use rocks in his, uh, in, his, in his work sometimes. There's not a rock in this particular tree, but he would use rocks. And the Japanese rule was that you couldn't use rocks. Uh, one time, uh, Frank Okamura, who was uh, the curator of the New York Botanical Gardens and a friend of Father Paul's was doing a lecture demonstration in Atlanta. Uh, Father Paul asked him, Frank, what do you think about using a rock in that uh, piece if it would make it look better. And uh, people drew their breath and Frank turned and wrote the kanji on the board for bonsai. Bonsai, tree and pot, no say rock. <laughs> that was not an answer for Father Paul because Father Paul was, was doing art, not Japanese bonsai particular tree that you're looking at is a Kingsville boxwood. It's not a tree, it's a shrub, it's a hedge. But um, as you can see, it has very, very tiny leaves. And it was a sport from another boxwood, probably one of the Japanese boxwoods, uh, in a nursery up in Merlin, run by a man named Henry Holman. And when he got the sport with these little leaves, he started propagating it. 
And this is one of the original seven plants from Henry Holman. So there's no Kingsville boxwood older than this in the world. I don't know how old it is. I would say it's probably at least 70 years old now uh, because I believe Father Paul got it in the 1960s. Bonsai, again, you know, in a nutshell, is, is a living art. It's like sculpting. You take, a, you take a live plant, something that pedures, and you shape it and put it into a pot, and you make it look so that if you took a picture of it without the pot, you wouldn't be able to tell that it wasn't a hundred foot tree. All you're trying to do is produce the effect of an old tree. Uh, this is what's nice. This place is very peaceful, and if you are in the Georgia area, please check them out. Bonsai Mai the Monarch is there. When you when you when she had she had a little bit of dread to drink this morning. Definitely, it's a very peaceful place, and if you are in the Georgia area, please check them out. Bonsai by the Monarch is there. And we'll catch you guys next time. <laughs>